So much has been talked about over the last year and a half uh, about Novak Djokovic and does he have the ability to get back to the very heights of the game? Covered that number one position for so long and, and has been really struggling to get physical fitness right and perhaps just uh, mentally to get back to that amazing place where he was where he was almost invincible but he's certainly had a lot of elbow problems and uh, that has really taken away some of that deep and incredible confidence that he had physically one of the best athletes to play tennis and uh, loves Roland Garros there's no question about it but the man he won't want to see in front of him is uh, a man that is synonymous with Roland Garros is uh, is Rafael Nadal Jaume oh, Munar yeah. of Spain is a good mate of that man trains with Rafael Nadal has a similar DNA. Right, we're going to give the regular conditions. Uh, just to remind us, time between point, please. And the uh, ball inspection, make it clear and prompt. Any questions? No. Heads or tails? Heads or tails? Uh, heads. Heads. And that's head. Serve. Serve. Stay. You stay. Have a good match, guys. Jaume Manar is uh, the man that will take on. Novak Djokovic, the 20th seed here in Paris for 2018. They've never played against each other before, and uh, there's no question about it that Novak will know a thing or two and have loads of respect. There's no worries about that because this young man, he trains with Rafael Nadal and can hit a million balls. Won his opening round in the main draw here in a very long, arduous five-set match. He's ranked 155 in the world at the moment, currently having his best ranking. He resides in Barcelona, but trains down in Mallorca. And he's got, uh, yeah, of course, he's got that unbelievable ability to fight on the court. Two wins, two losses throughout the year. Doesn't play a lot on the ATP Tour. He's playing mostly in challenges, but I think after the French Open, he's going to be changing his path. He'll be out playing on the bigger events. Had an incredible match with David Ferrer, somebody he would have looked up to for many years. Ferrer was two sets to love up. 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. And Jalmet turned the match, won 7-6, seven, 7-6, six, seven, six, seven, won the next three straight sets, so an incredible effort there. So the challenges just grow from David Ferrer to this man on screen, Novak Djokovic, and perhaps in his mind he might feel like he's got somewhat of a chance playing with uh, a player that dominated the game for quite a few years. He was the number one player in the world, but really suffering some, from confidence at the moment Djokovic 11 wins seven losses it's almost unheard of and the best performance really was uh, not too long ago that was in Rome and gee we haven't seen uh, Djokovic and his ability not to get through and deep in the courts, 60 wins, 12 losses, and he's back with Marion Vida. They split back in May last year. And he really has found it hard to not be with his coach that really mentored him and helped him for so many years and carried him through all that success. So in April this year, asked him to come back and work with him on a part-time basis. Demi-finaliste sur le double challenger de Marbella. Il a été quart de finaliste en simple sur le challenger de Quimper. Demi-finaliste en simple messieurs du challenger italien. So there's a confirmation. It's the first time. So I don't know much about each other, but uh, it won't take long to realize that. Jaume Munar is pretty much your stock standard uh, Spanish grinder. 
so likes to hit with his forehand, has a spin, serve, can get that ball to kick, then likes to be aggressive from the baseline with that forehand. Well, we know a thing or two about Djokovic. We know he's going to really be super steady. He's an unbelievable athlete, a terrific competitor, but the edges just come off just a little in the last couple of years and of course he's recovering from elbow operation which he had after the Australian Open and has not had a complete season so lacking match confidence Wow, the list is long for Djokovic, the encore presenter. Has to get through a lot of matches. And of course, he's amazing run here. In Paris, well, some years back now, when Novak won the match, the final match against Andy Murray, that was uh, back in 2016. Melior Joseph is the umpire here today. And it was 2016 when he didn't have to play against Rafael Nadal. He beat the likes of Burdic, Dominic Tim, and uh, Andy Murray in the final four sets there. Just the one time here in Paris that he has uh, been able to get the better of Rafael Nadal, and that was in 2015. And that was when so much success was going the way of Djokovic, just winning pretty much any tournament that he played. His Grand Slam record is just amazing but so much uh, excitement really and intrigue as to how is this man going to go in 2018 at the French Open really when you think of the likes of Federer that's out Murray is out and it really uh, is coming down to two players you'd have to imagine Djokovic and Rafael Nadal He's got to get through this one first. He's got to build confidence throughout. And there's plenty of Spanish players that are going to be in front of him. Bautista Algut, another very good Spanish player if he is to get through this one.